Welcome to the Doggy Dojo. My name is Trevor Smith and today we are going to cover light line training for come when called. And today I also have a wonderful puppy here. His name is Trump. His parents let me watch him for a little bit and so I decided to go ahead and bring him here on the Doggy Dojo to show you guys what you can use to help your dog to come when called. I like to use a light line to help your dog start to learn how to want to do the behaviors for you versus having to be always forced to do the behavior. You might want to use a light line out in public when you start working on more off-leash behavior with your dog. This is a simple light line that I made. Went to a local a hardware store, got some paracord and a carabiner, tied those two together, and now we have a light line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook this up to him just as a safety line to make sure that he doesn't wander off too far and that we can make sure to keep him controlled and safe. But we are, as you guys can see, at Doggy Dojo headquarters, and so we are already in a safe environment. But for demonstration purposes, I'll show you how to properly use a light line cord while teaching come when called. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna get something that I don't particularly want him to necessarily play with. I mean, this he can play with this. Let's just pretend this is a stuffed animal that he's not supposed to play with. And we're gonna use this as a distraction and have him come to us from it for reward. Now you can use either a treat or you can use another toy. Right now we're gonna use a treat and see what we can get. Ready? Here, be careful with this stuff because it can, if they rip hard um, enough, it can kind of burn your hands a little bit. So be, be ready to drop it if you need to. In order to drop it, I like to always tie a loop at the end here so that I can have that around my hand to make sure that I don't completely let go of my dog. But to rub, this rubbing through your hand can hurt. To start this off, what you're gonna do is grab a loop at one end and I always like to tie a loop in my little light line here and grab the slack in the other. And we're gonna to start to walk towards the distraction. As soon as he gets goes towards the distraction, I'm gonna call him away. Here, good boy, what a good job, what a very good boy. Notice how loose the line is. I'm really not using the line to jerk or pull my dog to want to come, to make him come to me. What I want them to do is want to come to me. So we're gonna get a little closer here. Okay, my loop again. Maybe drop this part here. Drop here! Yes, that's such a good boy! Very nice! So that way the dog starts to learn how to come away from distractions. Now what we're going to do, which is a little bit more difficult, is toss the toy away and then call him, call him to me, okay? Good boy! That's such a good job! Awesome job! Do it again. Make sure the lion is not underneath your feet when they start to run, because they can trip you up. Trump! Here! Yes! That's such a good boy! Very nice! Good boy! That's such a good job! That's so good! Alright! And that is how to do light line come when called with your dog and having them understand how to ignore distractions and focus on you and want to come to you more than chasing after the distractions. Thanks for watching here on the Doggy Dojo. Discover the path to life with your dog by subscribing today. Leave a like if you learned something new and as always, have some fun with your dog and we'll see you all next time.